All right, hey, good afternoon, everybody. Wanted to hop on here real quick and give you the update from the 10 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. We're talking about Tropical Depression 8 and Tropical Storm Gonzalo. That's way out in the Atlantic. Of course, 8 is in the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll do a quick update here, and then we've got to get ready for the noon show here on, uh, here on Channel uh, 4. So let me know if you can hear me okay. Good morning, and everybody. Uh, so let's get right into it. You can see here we actually have some showers and thunderstorms moving into the area, and this is all associated with Tropical Depression 8, some heavy downpours south of New Orleans, maybe a little shower activity about to move through New Orleans itself, and then you've got some heavier downpours moving up towards Slidell, Bay St. Louis, and kind of just scattered throughout the entire area. So that's what we're dealing with today, just some hit or miss downpours. It could be heavy at times, uh, but overall, uh, kind of just a cloudy day with hit or miss showers, uh, those tropical downpours. A closer look at the North Shore there, some of those showers moving into the Slidell area, some very light showers moving into St. Tammany Parish, and then a heavy shower moving right over uh, Cutoff, La Rose, uh, kind of south of Raceland. That'll continue to move towards the Homa area. Just a little downpour, nothing too crazy with it. So that's what we're dealing with locally. Now here's the latest on Tropical Depression 8. It is still a depression, 35 mile per hour sustained winds. <clears throat> And uh, notice it's not the prettiest looking system, but then again, it is a tropical depression. So, uh, you know, you're not really expecting this perfect looking uh, system out in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's really no surprise uh, there with the structure of this storm. It's moving to the west at nine miles per hour. So it's not moving too terribly fast, but uh, it still has a couple days over water. So we're still watching this thing and nothing's really changed with the forecast here in Southeast Louisiana. You can see the track there still takes it pretty much into Corpus Christi area, uh, kind of in between Houston and Brownsville is where the location of landfall will likely be as a tropical storm. So we could see tropical storm Hannah by tonight, maybe into tomorrow morning, wind sustained maybe around 50 miles per hour as it makes landfall. So I uh, still could organize a little bit more, and this still has a couple days over the warm Gulf waters, uh, but um, it still doesn't look like it's going to rapidly intensify uh, at all. And, you know, the national uh, or the hurricane hunters rather are in the storm right now, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. But here's kind of what we're looking at with the satellite picture itself. You can see um, there's actually not a lot of wind shear out here, and there's not a lot of dry air either. So you've got a, a lot of what we call convection storms, those upper level clouds kind of fanning out. So it's not in the worst environment. The only problem it has right now is the wind field. It's a really broad wind field. And whenever you've got a broad wind field like that, it's not going to strengthen very quickly. So until we actually start to see more of those winds kind of confined to the center, we're probably not going to start to see this really organized. Now, the Hurricane Hunters are in there right now. This is a live picture of the Hurricane Hunters. Notice they're finding pressure. 1009 millibars, not too bad. They're finding some winds, maybe 30 miles per hour. Looks like maybe a 30 mile per, 39 mile per hour wind. Um, we'll have to see, that's a gust by the way, we'll have to see uh, with the 1 p.m. update if they bump this up to Tropical Storm Hannah. Certainly possible. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Hannah later on this afternoon into tonight, uh, but it is slowly organized. This is not a rapidly organizing system. So that's some good news there, all because of that wind field. But it should start to contract. It's over the warm Gulf waters. There's not a lot of wind shear. There's not a lot of dry air. So this will probably organize a little bit more as it makes its way towards Texas. Winds are strong. I mean, we in the middle, and it's only gusting to 22. So no huge issues there. And here locally in southeast Louisiana, we still think, you know, the main impacts are going to be um, some heavy downpours. And that's pretty much it. So people are asking, will it be bad here? No, not likely. I mean, we're not going to see widespread issues across the entire area. We're going to see more isolated pockets of some heavy downpours. We're going to see a little coastal flooding. But you notice there over the next seven days, we could pick up some pretty decent rainfall, especially near the coast. And then really over towards Corpus Christi, that's where your heaviest rain totals are going to be up towards Galveston. And kind of this bright orange uh, is where you're going to see five, maybe seven inches from the storm itself. But we're certainly going to see some rainfall here. We're certainly going to see some breezy conditions right there along the coast. But, you know, we've been through a lot worse. This is a fairly minor event uh, for most areas. So. Not too terribly concerned with that. Showing our models uh, has some showers in and out as we go throughout today. More showers and thunderstorms, maybe a little bit more widespread for your Friday. Uh, and then even showers continuing into your Saturday, all thanks to we're continuing to get that moisture. So at times, heavy rainfall could lead to some street flooding and also uh, maybe a spin-up tornado or two. You can't roll those out in these types of setups. Coastal flooding should be minor, maybe one to two feet. 
um, because we've got that strong southeast to easterly wind. So the low-lying area is probably going to see a little bit of water come into the area. You can see your future cast are hour by hour with some spotty downpours throughout the day. It's not going to rain all day long today. It's probably not going to rain all day long tomorrow, but there's going to be periods where you're having some of that heavy rain. So it's sounding like a broken record there, but uh, a pretty minor event it really is. Let's go on to Gonzalo. Now, Gonzalo is a tropical storm. It formed yesterday, of course. Um, winds at 65 miles per hour, so a pretty strong tropical storm. And let me put the center location on here so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So there's the center of Gonzalo. Gonzalo is a tiny storm, by the way. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see what this does um, over the next, you know, couple of days or so. Now, the National Hurricane Center still thinks this could strengthen, um, if I can get the right graphics here, they still think this could strengthen um, to a hurricane by tomorrow, maybe, uh, maybe up to 80 miles per hour or so by Saturday uh, as it goes towards the Windward Islands and then it makes its way into the Caribbean. So I know, of course, everyone here on the Gulf Coast is more focused on this Caribbean part of the forecast. And um, right now, we do think it's going to weaken as it makes its way into the Gulf of Mexico, or in, excuse me, not the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, because uh, it's going to start to encounter a lot of wind shear. Now, I will say this part of the forecast is pretty unclear right now because it kind of depends on what the storm does over the next couple of days. The stronger the storm you have in coming into the Caribbean, the more likely it is to last longer, of course. If you have a weak storm coming into, maybe a tropical storm coming into the, the Caribbean, it is likely going to get torn apart by the wind shear because the Caribbean is known, you probably heard it, the graveyard, because a lot of things come in here and they just dissipate because there's so much wind shear. So this part of the forecast is still unclear, but right now the trends show a weakening storm. Now the storm itself is not very healthy this morning. Um, it has a, it's entrained some dry air overnight and that's really caused problems. I mean, this thing is the worst it's looked in a couple of days, actually. I mean, you've got the center here, but you've got this kind of pocket of dry air that's worked its way in. So intensifying, this intensifying over the next, you know, eight hours, six hours, probably not very likely, but these things will pulse up and down. It's a tiny storm. They can intensify a little bit more quickly and they can weaken quickly. So that's the thing with it is it'll go up, it'll come down, it'll go up, it'll go down. And so that's what we'll be watching. It's just, can it really kind of maintain itself? So, the big question is, does Gonzalo dissipate or does it stay and become a hurricane? That's still kind of both, you know, possible. That's the tricky part with this forecast. So we're watching this. we got a long time to watch it. I mean, I'm not terribly concerned with it right now, uh, but it is something we'll be watching pretty closely as it makes its way towards the Windward Islands. Behind Gonzalo, just to mention this, we do have a pretty strong tropical wave coming out of Africa. This will probably be something we're tracking next week. A lot of models do do something with this once it gets a little bit into the uh, middle of the main development region over here. So this will be heading towards the east. Once again, not concerned with it. We just have to watch it. I mean, it's end of July, about to get into early August, uh, kind of the heart of hurricane season. So that's the latest with what's going on out in the tropics. We've got the two main areas, of course, Gonzalo, main, or, um, Tropical Depression 8, probably going to become Hannah later on, will be most of an issue for the Corpus Christi area. That's where it'll make landfall. We'll st still see some showers and storms from it, maybe some localized flooding, uh, coastal flooding, minor coastal flooding, and some breezy winds maybe over 30, 35 miles per hour right there along the coast. Uh, but most of the area is just going to see rounds of some rainfall. So pretty minor event. But anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and give a quick update on what we got going on out in the tropics. Hurricane season finally here. Uh, it's been active. Looks like it's going to stay pretty active over the next couple of weeks. Of course, uh, you can tune into Channel 4. Uh, WWL TV here at noon. We'll have a full update there. And we get our next advisory in at 1 p.m. And it'll be interesting to see if we have Hannah by then. Um, if we do, earliest or earliest H storm on record by nearly two weeks, by the way. So we, uh, it's kind of incredible that we're already to the H storm by uh, the end of July. Hopefully that's not a precursor, but we've been calling for a busy season. So everyone stay safe today. And uh, of course, continue to stay up to date uh, with the forecast. Thanks, everybody.